Gentlemen, how's everybody doing today? We're having a fantastic morning. Yeah, that's what I thought. We have just gotten our uh, load on here at the first pickup. We got 15 more miles to go to our uh, second pickup place. So hopefully that will be nice and quick as well. And then we can start uh, making our way down home. That's right. Yeah, this next place is a bit of a <laughs> hard place to get into. Let's put it that way. It is uh, a lot of Amish country up here. A lot of very narrow roads and hills. A little bit of hills and stuff like that. So it's a bit. Uh, Challenging getting in there, but once you're in that uh, in that yard where we pick up the load, there's a lot of room in there. Definitely, definitely, in a for sure. Mile, turn right on Mill Street South, OH 94. All right, so let's see if we can actually go down here. I think we can. Generally, RJ is pretty good in showing us truck roads. So I don't suspect it's going to be any different today, but we always got to make sure, we always have to look and make sure that that is the case. Let me see if we can actually get in here. Yeah, it looks like we can. Yeah, I don't see no sign here saying no trucks. So that would mean to me that we are allowed to go here. It just says no parking at any time. But yeah, this is going to be a bit of a tight one. Uh, <laughs> as you can see already, there is no room for air up here, that's for sure. What do you say there, son? Nothing? Like every morning? I don't know. Nothing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's like it goes with him every morning. He's not a morning person, it doesn't seem like it. Where is there? Okay, I just don't know what to say. Oh. Yeah, you're still halfway asleep in the morning till mid-morning. Me, I'm the other way around. I'm an early morning person. I tell you, man. I like to get up early. And then, you know, get going early. Work hard. See, there they already got a sign up there. Horse and buggy up ahead. What I was telling you, it's a little hilly up here, very narrow. Beautiful Amish country, though. Nice green grass, right? Yeah. We don't have any of that at home yet. No, not at all. Mm -hmm. Nope. We have white grass. Matter of fact, it was snowing just a couple of days ago. Yeah. And if you guys think we're going fast, we're not really going fast. Uh, the camera sometimes uh, it just looks like we're going faster than we are actually going, but we're actually not going that fast. Oh, that's where our whole shit already. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, a lot of Amish people live up in this neighborhood, so we're going to see if we can get us a Amish horse and buggy on camera. I know most of the people say they don't like to be on camera, but hey, if they don't see the camera in my truck, who cares, right? <laughs> but yeah, actually there is a little bit of snow up here too still. Look at that. Right there in the ditch. A little tiny bit of snow. Well, it says 25, so I guess we better slow down even more. Wow, this looks like it's just getting narrower. <laughs> Holy moly. What did we get ourselves into? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I want to be careful. I don't come around these corners too fast and all of a sudden there's a horse and buggy, you know? But yeah, these, this is what I was talking about. Look at that, there's somebody there in the bush. What they got there? Some kind of crates and whatnot. Wow, this is very good, beautiful though, eh? That's what I thought. 
Yeah, most of these Amish guys, they don't uh, have hydro in their house either. They live off of the bush. Wood has to su supply them with heat for the winter. Yep. That's the way it goes. But yeah, we do have our first load on now. And that didn't take them very long to get us loaded. Not at all. Once we got into the dock, it wasn't very long and we were loaded. Now let's just go find out how long it's going to take these other guys. Because they usually take a good while, so... I'm suspecting we're going to be there for a good while. If that's the case, that's the case. I guess we'll just cook us a stew and have lunch, right? Yeah. That sounds like a good plan. Yeah. Yeah? Alright. Well, that, that's what it is going to be. If it takes a long time to get loaded, right? Yeah. But if it don't, then uh, I guess we'll be lucky. We'll be putting the hammer down and we'll just have to grab us lunch somewhere on the road, right? Yeah, I guess. I guess so. Alright, we'll shift down a little bit. See if we can climb this mountain. I guess we're gonna have to, gonna have to shift down some more yet. Oh, this is bad. Yikes. Yeah, this is a pretty steep one here. We have to shift down two gears at the same time in order to be able to shift down fast enough. I don't know, I usually ever have to do that. But here it was. I bet you it would have been even worse with a heavy load on here. Oh. But that's a beautiful ranch right there. Yeah. Wow, nice home. Yikes. Very nice. Spring Hill Farm, this one was called. Oh, nice. I hope you guys enjoy it too. I, I love farms, you know. I I grew up at a farm and to me it just brings back memory of me being at the farm and working with cattle and we had a horse. And yeah, that brings back some good memories. That's for sure. Anyways, we'll continue cruising along here. We got about 10 more miles to go. And then we'll be at our next pickup. Luckily, these pickups weren't very far apart. They were only like 16 miles apart. But we're good to go. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Didn't I tell you there's a horse and buggy up here? I told you so. There was gonna be horse and buggies up here. <laughs> Yeah, that's the way it is down here. There comes another one. See, they even got lights on them. I think they have to nowadays. LED lights. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wonder how they charge their batteries. Because <laughs> they're not supposed to have electronic. Uh, uh, electricity. Electricity, yeah. So I wonder how they charge their batteries. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's funny. Oh well, maybe they just buy a battery that's charged up and use it till it's dead. <laughs> Especially with LED lights, it'll last for a long time. But I've seen decked out uh, horse and buggies though. Oh. Yeah, there was one uh, a while back ago in Pennsylvania, I believe it was. They had all kinds of LED lights, blue lights, red lights, yellow lights, and everything. They were decked out. There's teenagers there, you know. <laughs> that looked nice though. It has been one of those days where we're sitting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and some more waiting. Yeah. Crazy. But we finally have gotten our load. Now we only have an hour left to drive. Now we have to hurry up and find a truck stop somewhere. Because we gotta stop here in about an hour from now. So that kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, we got there already at 9 o'clock this morning and it's quarter after 6 right now. I mean, we left 15, 20 minutes ago, but. Uh, Hey, we're uh, on our way now. 
to 70 mile an hour speed limit up here and I'm fighting with RJ today too. He just, for some odd reason, he refuses to road me along I, the US 30 here. I have no idea why. He must think there is some kind of restriction somewhere for some odd reason. I, I can't think of any other reason. But whatever, we'll straighten him out. We'll just continue on I, the US 30 here. I keep saying I 30, I don't know why. But anyways, I know it's a sucky day today for even for videoing. We didn't even do much of video today. But that's the way it goes some days, you know. I'm a little pissed off, you know. I thought it was gonna be a few hours and we'd be out of there, but not all day long, you know. Uh, here we are, finally on the road, so uh, we're not gonna be able to show you much more than this. This is it. Uh, we'll try again tomorrow, I guess. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We are going to attempt to show you on how we shift gears and all that. So hopefully my fingers are not too much in the way. So we're gonna try this. Now we're gonna shift into high gear. So we lift this little lever right there. And then we're putting it in their fifth gear. I'm hoping that camera there by the clocks is not shifting too much. We're putting the splitter into a higher gear. See that? Now we're pulling her back and then we're shifting into a higher gear again. Yeah. Here we go again. I pulled it forward. Now we're into a higher gear again. Now we'll pull it back and shift it into six gear, low gear. And then this forward and we'll go into even a higher gear I'm hoping you guys are going to be able to see this and I set up my camera there by the clocks as well so that way you can see my rpms and all that when we're shifting we're pulling the little red lever right here back and now we're pulling her all the way back we're now on 12 gear we're pushing this one forward again the red one and now we're going to be in the highest gear possible. That's right. I'm hoping that uh, not everything is shaking too much so you can uh, you can actually see what we're looking at. Speed warning. You know? I don't know my GPS saying speed warning. But anyways, that's how we shift her up all the way to uh, highest gear. And we'll see how that footage comes out and uh, We'll see if we'll be able to use it for you guys. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is evening time, right? Yeah. And it is actually the next day. And we got really tired yesterday, so uh, we did not put an ending on to yesterday's video. No. So, but we did record something today for you guys. And uh, also we're putting in this clip as well for yesterday's video. So I hope you guys won't mind that too much because we didn't really have too much of a footage for yesterday's video and we would like to make it a little bit of a longer video but not boring, right? Yeah. That's the goal anyways. And so what we did record earlier, which you have probably already watched because I'm going to put it before this clip obviously, and that was on our shifting. We did record that today. And it kind of sucks a little bit that the RPM clock uh, is a little bit uh, blurred out by the sunlight or whatever. Uh, I wasn't able to, uh, well, I can't really control that, right? So I couldn't really do anything with that. But He uh, tried, but it, it, he couldn't find anything. So. Yeah, I, I couldn't really figure anything out on what to do about that. But uh, at least we got the shifting. I think we got the shifting. I haven't actually checked out that clip yet. But as soon as we're done recording this, we're going to check out that clip and see how that came out. I'm really hoping that's going to come out really well on how I shifted my gears. I mean, it was only up shifting. I didn't do a down shifting video yet. Maybe we'll do that at another time. And maybe at that time we can figure something out with the clocks and stuff. And maybe we'll have a little more time or whatever to do all of that. But uh, I hope that I know Ike Reddy has been asking for that for a good while. And I kept saying that one of these days I'm going to get around to doing it. And today was the day. And uh, we recorded that for yesterday's video. So you will have already seen it by now. And uh, what else are we going to talk about? 
pretty much just that we had a bit of a crappy day, right? Yeah, pretty <laughs> We much. waited for about eight and a half hours till our load finally was ready. And uh, in the he, meantime, we had stew, right? We made stew and cleaned yeah. all that up. What were you going to say? And then you didn't really know any uh, truck stops around. And you had to call somebody because you didn't have much time left to drive. And yeah, we he, were... He told us a couple of truck stops and we were able to get to one place before our time ran out. Before yeah. Our, uh, before our hours were over. And uh, That's right. Yeah, we got to, uh, to yeah. the truck stop 15 minutes before our... Uh, our 14 hour period ran out so we weren't able to drive much so we weren't able to show you very much but uh, I figured I would put that video clip in place of that uh, so that way it would be a little bit more of an interesting video and I know my face or his face wasn't in it but I hope it was gonna work out okay where I'm shifting and I can put the camera in one corner for where the speedometer is and hopefully I can make it big enough to where it's not interfering with the actual video where I'm shifting and but you can still see the clock a little bit I hope it's gonna work okay I mean I'm not quite happy with the speedometer uh, clock video clip that that got recorded but uh, hey it is what it is we tried maybe next time we will work something out a little bit better and hopefully we can do a better job at it but uh, at least we got that in there and other than that, we uh, went to the truck stop and pretty much went to bed because we were so tired that both of us, I mean, I was already up from before 5 o'clock that morning because I got up early and then the, and they said I needed to be at 8 o'clock at the first pickup, which I made it at 8 o'clock, which is Eastern time, so that's 7 o'clock our time. So I needed to get up at least... Uh, four, for around 4 at our time, yeah. Mm, no. No, I think it was 5 o'clock and then around 5.30, quarter to 6, I left. Oh. So it was an hour and 15 minutes drive up there. So I made it just around 8 o'clock up there. So uh, we did make it, but this camera's battery is just about to die. So we're going to end it right here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please, uh, well, we're not even going to do the share or nothing like that because we know this video wasn't the best. So stick around for tomorrow. We got an awesome video coming up tomorrow, don't you think so? Yeah. Much better than this one. So, we'll see you again tomorrow. Have a good one, everybody. This is the Trucker Rudy Show with the San Diego. We are signing out. We are out of here. Stick around tomorrow. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me.